who have had the privilege of riding with me know that I can get you all to pray. Well. My own physician once asked me, your wife rides with you? And I said, yes. She drives, but I'm behind the steering wheel. Thank God for the message this morning. Jesus told his disciples in everything, treat people the same way you want them to treat you. Most of us refer to this code of conduct as the golden rule. In theory, we probably agree this is a good foundation for a healthy relationship. But it's tough to live up to such a standard. If we made a list of the ways we hope to be treated and compared it with our own behavior, mm -hmm. we're likely to fall short. And of course, it's easy to love when others are treating us well. Uh-huh, am I right about it? Yes, yes. But how do we respond when their behavior is hurtful or unpleasant? Uh, the truth is, Jesus meant for us to love others all the time, not just when they're lovable, regardless of their attitude towards us. We are to think about the relationship qualities we value. Listen to this, like loyalty, trust, encouragement, forgiveness, acceptance, and protection. Let these flow from us in their direction. Let this flow from us in their direction. Mm -hmm. Sitting at the table, one of the ladies said, I'm celebrating our 30th anniversary. Mm -hmm. After nine years. <laughs> well, make it play, make it play, make it play. Let me leave that alone. <laughs> I have <coughs> 24 hours in a day to mind my own business yeah. and 24 hours in a day to leave yours alone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Regardless of the other person's attitude towards you, you are still required as a Christian to share the goodness of God yes, sir. in your daily walk. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> when we care for others the way the Lord prescribes relationships can deepen mm -hmm. and thrive. Mm -hmm. Trusting others with this kind of love isn't natural or easy, mm -hmm. especially when people are unkind. Mm. In fact, loving as Jesus commanded is impossible on our own. But when we trust Christ as Savior, the Holy Spirit empowers us mm. and lives his life through us. Yes, sir. You all can say amen. amen. I know that's right. Yeah. One of the greatest, hey listen, if you don't like me, you can just say, okay, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey. You see, I'm not going to be regular. Uh, that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> One of the greatest daily gifts Jesus gives us is our ability to choose. We can choose salvation mm -hmm. or we can choose damnation. Mm -hmm. If we follow his word, we can choose to be content or discontent Yes, sir. in the state we are in, mm -hmm. which means we can choose to be in a good mood or bad mood daily. Mm -hmm. I can be sad. And I'll have sad friends around me, and my sad friends will make me sadder. The sadder they make me, the sadder I'll be. And then I'll wonder why am I always so sad? The sadness start. I can be happy. I can get some laughs. You know, Sister Sister White tells me, why don't you grow up? You know, you're 70, you're in your 70s now. Well, People can't understand your humor. 
well, as whop as it may be. Well, well, and since I'm home and all of you know me, you know, I say good afternoon at 6 o'clock. I say good morning at 6 o'clock in the evening. Well, well. But that's me. Well, Praise well. God for making me. See, that tells me one thing. Mm -hmm. God has a good sense of humor. Well, he made me. Well, well. Uh huh. Well. well, if we follow his word, we can choose to be what? Happy or sad. Mm -hmm. Well, let me ask you a question. This particular day and time, I'm in, I'm looking for the right word not to sound political, mm -hmm. but to stay on track. Our nation, that's not political, our nation, mm -hmm. this week caught me and most of you, I'm sure, that listen to the news, wondering where, 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 you're waiting for me to say where what? Where is America going? Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord if God. my people who are called by my do what? Yes. Humble themselves yes. and pray. And yes. 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 My, turn from their wicked ways then. Mm. But listen. So the thought, Black Lives Matter, having two police officers, a son and a daughter, Blue Lives Matter. Well. But something else is more important than that. All lives yes. Yes. matter. Yes. Regardless to what someone else will do to you. Christian values teaches us that. Listen to this. An eye for an eye means that everybody would be blind. Well, 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 well. Am I right about it? Lord, that was We can choose to see an unfortunate situation at the end of our lives, or we can ask God to step in and take control and renew our joy. Lord, you I can be as sad as I want to be, but once I ask Christ to come into my life and to take control, mm -hmm. many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them out of just a few of them. How many? How many? Oh, I can't hear you. How many? So knowing that, no matter what comes. Now, somebody said, but I've been sick so long I've been sick so long I have no joy brothers and sisters I have a sister-in-law with Lou Gehrig's she can't feed herself she can't even move her own electric wheelchair Lord Jesus. and you know what she's saying God is good how are you feeling All right now. I'm feeling great alright now because I know that when this shell is <laughs> is empty, well, I'll be up there <laughs> well, right now. Well. where the wicked will cease from troubling and the worry. I don't know if I'm saying everything right, but I'm trying to get it, the mm. thought across. All right now. So who are we listening to? We can choose to trust Jesus or fret. For scriptures tells us, woe to him who touches the Lord's anointed, and that the wicked will be sneered in the work of his own hands. Have you made good choices today? Remember, the joy that he gives, the world can't take it away. 
No, 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 no. Mm. Yeah, so somebody says, I, well, yesterday one of the ladies said, I, I have a prayer room in my house. Took me back to Sister Miles. Yes, indeed. Sister Miles, Sister Miles. If you don't know, Sister Miles. Yes, prayer room. Yes, indeed. Not only that, I don't know why these fellas don't remember her raising me. Well, well, well. <laughs> Yeah. I was only away 36 years, but yeah. that's another story. <laughs> right here in this building, Mother Miles would be a warrior. I pray for you every morning. <laughs> oh, son, I know you all have heard that. I pray for you every morning. You know, that prayer is something that you cannot, you cannot deny. A life without prayer mm. and without the Bible is without peace. Mm. Oh, I need to say that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A word without prayer and the Bible is a life without is a life without peace. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Some of you may have been here last Sunday. I got a little comical. I apologize. No, I'm not apologizing for the word. I'm apologizing for the, the comic that yeah. came out of me. <laughs> no, 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 no. But listen to this. <laughs> Anybody remember the subject last week? Nah, uh -huh. I just, huh? I go fishing. Thank you. Thank you. Did anybody go fishing? Did anybody go fishing? <laughs> Did anybody go fishing? Well, when we go fishing, the one world, our world, our world, our world is upside down these days. We are hearing more and more about the madness that is going on in the world. I've already mentioned just last week we had killings of two young men by police officers. And a man who demonstrated in a, his web page and his Facebook his hate, admitted his hate as he was being talked to by the police, shooting 12 officers and two civilians and killing five of the police officers. Church, it's time to pray. It's time to do some fishing. Well, well. It's time to let the world know that Christ is still Jesus. Jesus, Jesus all by himself. Jesus don't need nobody else. God is able. And wait a second. What can happen if we don't listen? Listen to what happened. What my opinion. Listen to what happened. Come on, somebody ask me. What happened? What happened? Yeah, well, I'm glad you asked. In this time in which we live, I believe that there are no so many there are so many messages that our young people are missing. They're not getting it with the thumbs. I counted quite a few kids at the dinner yesterday. I even walked up to one sitting next to his father and I said, well, what are you doing on your iPhone? Is it playing a game? How old are you? Five. I walked out into the dining area and there's two kids sitting next to each other just playing games. They don't even know why they are at the function. Well. Who are we listening to? Mm, let's talk. Let's talk. Who yeah. are we listening let's to? Let's talk. Let's talk. Yeah. Well, I'm sitting in a dining room. Actually, country buffet. Anybody knew that they they're gone out of business. Yeah. But three of my granddaughters, my son, my wife, 
daughter-in-law, I get a text message. Beep. Hello, okay. <laughs> Grandpa, do you want something to drink? Forgive me for calling your name, Deja. 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 Hey, Deja. Huh, Grandpa? Well, I have a, I have a smartphone. Pastor has an iPad. Well, many of you in the communication world, thank God for you because now you can watch the church on your iPhone, or iPad, and all well, that good well, stuff. Well, well, well. But who are you listening to? Not every. Not every. So we met a, a practitioner yesterday. Was talking to us for a few minutes, and she said, "Just Google me." Well, thank you for the card. Now Google, and you'll see what I do. Okay. What are we listening to? And I'm coming in now. I am really going to come in. Uh, <clears throat> Pastor, I owe you a, a personal apology, and I'm opening up this confession directly in front of you. I've often said to you, you say, I'm coming in. Yeah. And 22 uh, minutes uh, later, the uh, tape is still going. Uh, so forgive me for That's putting right. it. But you, you right. brought it up in the pulpit. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yes, I did. But let's 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 be honest, church. We need to talk more and more to our neighbors, our enemies. You know, when they come at you on your job or in your business, they come at you with hate. Smile. Mm -hmm. Kind of hard to do. I worked for a manager one time that got so mad with me that he called me in the office. He said, What's wrong with you? I won't call his name. You do it. A minister. Mm. What's wrong with you? Nothing I say to you make you mad. I said, Why should it? I said, If it's the truth. I live up to it. If it's not the truth, I know you're lying on me. <laughs> well, well, well. Why am I going to get upset? I listen to the Father. He directs me. He gives me the insight because I ask him, give me clarity of thought. Give me clarity of thought. So in saying that, I want to remind you that Jesus is the answer. Let's not go after our police department. Black lives matter, all lives matter. The message today should be let's love one another. Let's learn how to talk to one another. Let's learn how to talk to God. Tell him all about your troubles. For I have a telephone in my bosom. And I can call him up anytime. I can call them up, and guess what? There's no disconnect. Well, you know, the internet sometimes goes down. Well, you can't get through. Well, you can't get the message on the telephone well, because it's disconnected sometimes. Uh, but in your heart, uh, you have a direct always. line with the master, yes, the Lord of lords, the king of kings. Uh, yes. Just as I am without one plea, mother, thy love was shed for me. Let's all stand, let's all stand. And there thy beard.
bids me come to thee, O Lamb of God, I come. I... The preacher said, who are you talking to? God said, if my people who are called by my name
Thank you.